All right, welcome back to the channel. Tyler and Amy here, and we are back out in Hidden Falls in Marble Falls, Texas at our home off-road park. And today we are going to go through all of the components of the Adventure Seeker package, what we added. As you can see, he's looking quite a bit different. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna go back in time, we're gonna go back to the shop, we're gonna install those parts and show you and talk about each one of the components we added in this package. But we also have a fun treat today. What's that, Amy? We get to hang out with the Rivians. So we got all the Rivian guys out today. We get to see how those things do off-road, and I'm excited about that. I've been wanting to do this for a while because they break tie rods pretty easily. We have a component that we've made for their trucks that you guys all know about that will stop that. So anyways, let's hit the trail and go have some fun. Let's go Bronco, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so today we are introducing all of the parts that go into the Adventure Seeker package. We've already covered the Essentials package and the Weekend Warrior, and now we're gonna take it one step further. Let's jump into what is included and then some of the additional items that we recommend that you might want to add. If you haven't already seen our other videos, maybe this is the first time you're joining us looking at this package, I encourage you go back and watch the previous four videos because it's important to know which package you wanna choose based on where you're starting. So with that, I chose first option is the ultimate steering solution. Why did I choose that? So 30% more power with that steering rack adds a lot more capabilities. I'm leaving in the uh, shock skids. It's just an easy upgrade to throw on there. And then I'm putting in a suspension option. We talked about in the last package, keeping your stock suspension as an option. That's your least expensive, right? That's a good option, not necessarily the best option. So in this package, we're adding in the Ford Performance 2-inch Bilstein suspension. Why did I choose that? Well, I chose it because it's actually on the least expensive of a coilover option. But keep in mind, if you're going to fit 37s on a black diamond like I did, you're still gonna need the inch and a half body lift. Again, all of these things are bundled together to save you the most amount of money buying this in a package. So hopefully the education of why you need things or where things come in to play is really beneficial to you. That completes the Adventure Seeker package, but we're not done there. We have a lot of other parts that we've already put on this vehicle that we are also including as options. Again, go back and watch those videos and understand them a little bit better but I will try and also touch briefly on each one of these components and why I added them on this vehicle and why you might want to consider that as well. Okay, so depending on what package you choose will depend on the order of the way you do things. But if you are doing a lot of modifications, there is usually an order that saves you the most time. In this specific case, we're going to start with the steering rack this ultimate steering solution gives you the capabilities to have your lockers on and get in those tight locations and be able to turn that wheel without locking up. Once the steering rack is installed, let's go ahead and reinstall that, that front new front drive unit. In this case, we added the ultimate 44 by Dana Spicer. So we installed the Dana Spicer ultimate extreme 32 spline CV axles. Next step is we're going to go ahead and install our front and a rock sway bar by Rock Jock. Let's go ahead and install our Rock Jock anti rock sway bar. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the body lift. We'll get that additional inch and a half lift that we want on here. You may want to consider three inches of lift. We'll go ahead and install the rock crawler kit. The rock crawler triangulated four link allows for a lot more articulation. Articulation off road is what it's about. That will give you the most flex out of your Bronco than any other ad that we've played with. We then did some cutting and grinding. Now we're well, we weld that, that bracket on and reinstall that axle.
we're gonna go ahead and remove the bumpers, get the bumpers, the old bumpers out of the way in this package because we're gonna be installing the BB-8 bumper. I like the look. They're a very competitive price point. I can add a winch in the front and it's a lot more robust than the stock bumpers. We're going to go ahead and install the Talons Garage skid plates. Okay, we'll go ahead now and install the ProCal tool. I'm able to do a fad delete or the front axle disconnect. Let's go ahead and get the rock slides installed at this point. They have endured the test, but they also give you that nice step to be able to get in and out of the vehicle. And now, last but not least, the Meek Magnet. It not only looks really cool, but it adds that ability to keep the vehicle from being scratched up on the trail. Today, we're gonna to go out and show you on the trail. We got a fun treat too, though. We got invited out with a, a group of Rivians. So in this video, we're gonna show some of the capabilities of the Rivian compared to the Bronco. So I don't know what trail they're gonna take us on, how hard it's gonna be, but we'll see. And then we'll get out and do some of the other stuff. This was ended up being a 101 course for a lot of Rivian guys that had never been out yet in their vehicle. So they hired a guy to come out, um, brought his Jeep, showing them some of the features of their using their Rivian and going on that, that cross slope, that embankment. Here's where it gets really sketchy. You have somebody get on a vehicle and do this. Look how solid it is. Hey, Dave. <laughs> This is where it gets fun for me. I get to watch your faces. Come on, get that tire in there. No more drivers. There you go. There you go. Let's go do the work. Nice. That's it. That's the obstacle. Outstanding. All right. I'm going to watch you on the next one. I hate to tell you, but your wheels are turning. Beautiful. I love the speed. This is perfect. At this point in the trail, I was getting a little bit bored and I decided to kind of take a little side trail and see if I could find myself something to get a little bit more trouble in. I left off the brace on the one tie rod. Kind of forgot, kind of on purpose. Went up the obstacle, broke, and put our universal brace on.
I'm not saying that the first package, the essential package is the best package. And I'm not saying that the adventure seeker package that we're talking about today is the best package, but it is a series of evolution of good, better, and best. In the Adventure Seeker package, you're viewed as that off-roader that is more than just the weekend warrior going out every once in a while. You've fallen in love with the sport, you're going out on a regular basis, and you're more at risk for things breaking and tearing up or getting stuck because you're doing more intense off-roading and or obstacles. All right, well, today's been a fun day. We've got to hang out with some Bronco guys, some Rivian guys, some Toyota, Toyota. guys. I don't know, it's just been all over the place. But uh, the biggest thing I've learned today coming out here with the Adventure Seeker package is number one, the added capabilities by having the ability to turn better in the rocks. The other big thing is we, we added a much smoother suspension with the Ford Performance suspension. I'm so glad we're done with the stock bumpers. Those things were getting tore up every time we, we ran into something. We put these things through the ringer today, hit quite a bit of stuff. I mean, we didn't go easy on it. I have a, a winch now, which is really nice. So if I need to get myself pulled out of something, but I think really one of the things for the win was the Meek Magnet and the fact that you can take it off, wash it, put it away and put it back on. It's pretty incredible. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be staying on little homie very long because the next video we're gonna show you in the series, this is Bronco's gonna be a lot bigger, a lot more things done to the body. We'll be changing body paint, um, everything else, um, ready, getting ready for SEMA. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you haven't already done so, go back and watch our other playlist in this series that show the, the vehicle in stock, kind of getting to know the Bronco, what features you have, what features you might wanna add, all the way up to this, on through the, the, uh, the next packages. Guys, appreciate you tuning in and uh, hope to see you on the trail someday. A lot of fun. I'm, I'm tired though, so let's head home.